Hi, welcome to Danny On The Go Special Season 3. I'm Danny. In this first video of the season, I'm now at one of the most expensive hotels in Kuala Lumpur, the Four Seasons Kuala Lumpur. However, this is also one of the cheapest Four Seasons in the world. Let's check it out in 14 seconds from now. The Four Seasons Hotel begins its route in Canada in the 60s and from there it expanded internationally with the five-star luxury hotels and resorts concept throughout the decades. The Four Seasons Kuala Lumpur opened in 2018 and although it might be one of the cheapest Four Seasons in the world, it's one of the most expensive hotels in Kuala Lumpur. Located in the city centre of Kuala Lumpur and just beside the renowned KLCC Petronas Twin Tower, it's so convenient for one to get to this mall by foot. Also, most guests will not miss the easy and comfortable walk at the nearby KLCC Park. The hotel is part of the building of Four Seasons Place. This is the fourth tallest skyscraper in Kuala Lumpur if you count the KLCC Twin Tower as one building. So don't be deceived that the hotel occupied the whole entire 65-storey buildings here. Let me show you how the rough layout of the Four Seasons Place KL looks like. The basement consists of four levels of car park. The ground floor is the ground lobby. First, to third floor belongs to the shopping mall called Shops. Fourth floor is the Japanese restaurant called Nobu and the residence's parking. Fifth floor is the Chinese restaurant called Yun House and the residence's parking as well. Sixth floor consists of the hotel reception, lounge, restaurants and ballrooms. Seventh floor are the hotel and residence's facilities and the executive lounge as well as the spa. Eighth to eighteenth floor are the hotel rooms and suites. 19 to 21st floor are the service apartments. From 22nd all the way to 65th floor are the residences units, meaning the hotel rooms only occupy up to 18 floors here. Even though the hotel guest room is not located on the high floors of the building, it has 209 guest rooms and suites that is luxurious enough to make this hotel one of the premium 5-star hotels in Kuala Lumpur. I will be staying in a club premium park view room this time with executive lounge access. I will have another video on the executive lounge coming soon and please subscribe my channel so that you won't miss any of my video. If you want to know how much I pay for the room, you can check on the description below. As I am driving to this hotel, I will show you how to get to the parking. I will be coming from Jalan Ampang, the main road in front of the hotel. The hotel is sharing the parking with shops, the shopping mall inside the building. Residences parking entrance will be at the back of the building. Driver has to turn into the main entrance of the mall as you see here and go down to the basement. Basement 1 is loading level, so guests have to go all the way down to basement 2. Parking can be a little bit hard to get as it is shared with the shopping mall and most of them are reserved parking. Guests can get complimentary parking for a car per room. It's cashless, so one need to get the touch and go card or credit card validated at the reception before leaving. The lift of the hotel is different from the shopping mall, so just look for the hotel lift to go up. Gas is coming from the main road. 
they will come in using the main entrance at the ground floor. There will be staff and bellboy at the entrance to greet all the guests who enter the hotel. At the ground floor is the ground lobby where it is bright, clean, with a really high ceiling. This is not the main reception lobby. One has to get to level 6B to check in and the leaves are on the right side as you see here. If gas is coming in from the entrance of the shopping mall, which is the back of the hotel, they will need to pass by the mall by entering from Jalan Ampang. This is the shops, a very small boutique shopping mall in the building. Visitors mainly will come here to shop at the Catalon, a sport and outdoor equipment retailer which occupy the whole of first floor. Just follow the sign and you will be led to the back entrance of the hotel where it will be connected to the ground lobby as we see here. sign here and there in the common area for one to allocate to the preference level easily. I'm going to check in and I need to go to level 6B where the reception lobby is. Upon reaching at level 6B, there will be friendly staff to assist guests to check in. On the far left is all-day dining restaurant where I will be having my breakfast tomorrow. On the right is the concierge and beside is the lounge for the hotel where I will show you later. Beside the lounge is the reception area where one can do their check-in or check-out. The whole environment is very simple, fresh and cozy as it is bright and has a very high ceiling where I really like when I come into a hotel. It has a welcome drink for guests as you see here. As I have booked a club premier park view room, I will be ushered to the executive lounge to do my private check-in which is quieter and more comfort. There will be another set of lifts that will access to the hotel rooms which is from level 8 to level 21. At a pre-stay email which the hotel sent to me a week earlier, I have requested a high floor room and late checkout. I am very happy and satisfied when the friendly staff in the executive lounge actually allowed me to have a late checkout at 4pm the next day, 2 hours more than I requested. And on top of that, I have my room at level 18 which is the highest floor for hotel guest room and below the service apartments. I'm looking forward to check out the room. So I went to the lift and head to level 18. The room's corridor is bright and clean with room numbers clearly stated. The first intersection of the corridors is to the suites and the back is to the club rooms. This 
This is my room. This room is 64 square meters and has a very nice layout. At least, it is very different from the ordinary hotel room's layout. Upon entering from the entrance, the left side is the luggage and open closet, which is connected to the washroom. Meanwhile, on the right has a huge mirror for one to check themselves out before going out. As I move in, I can see these two very neatly placed beds which looks comfortable. Facing the bed is the TV and a cute geometrical shape cupboard under it. The business table is at the far end with a couch placed at the other end beside the ceiling to the floor window. The entire room is bright, clean and very welcoming. The hotel specially prepare little gifts for every guest and if one has special occasions during their stay like birthday or anniversary, they will be surprised with more stuff. As for me, I have nothing to celebrate and I got this very cute box of chocolate as you see here. There is a compartment at the side of the business table where one has to leave up the cover to access all the power points. Pen and notepads are provided and inside the business table drawers are letterheads, postcard envelopes and these wiping clothes which I never see other hotels provided before. At the side of the beds are all the switches which is clearly indicated and also an iPad. This is a more convenient way for guests to access to the hotel information and requests on something during their stays nowadays. For example, one can choose to see the dining options in the hotel or even request all the amenities as listed here without making any phone call. Sometimes it's hesitate to wait for the staff to pick up the call. So just scroll on the options you see here and request directly and the goods will be sent to the room in a few minutes. Let's see what's inside this odd shaped cupboard. Ah, it's a safe with some empty drawers inside. There is another cupboard here and inside is the mini bar. At the top part are the glasses, cups, coffee making machines, kettle and complimentary nuts and water that comes in glass bottle. The bottom is the fridge with stock up of beverages where it's not free and at the side drawers are coffee capsule, various kind of tea bags, sugars and creamers which comes in complimentary. At the bottom are some local snacks which is not free too. The last drawer has an ice bucket and wine opener. Let's move on to the washroom. The washroom has two ways to enter. One is from the closet and one is from the bed area which we see here. At the side of the washroom is a bathtub with bath salt provided. Bath ropes are hang on the wall here. Here we can see plenty of various sizes of towels hang on the rack and the shelves. Behind this mirror glass door is the shower area with normal and rain shower head. There is a marble bench at the side. There are two basins at the vanity area so the guests will not need to take turn using it. The toiletries are placed not so professionally in the middle and one can request more on the iPad as shown previously if you cannot find what you want here. Hand wash and lotions also placed here beside the basins. Now let's move on to the toilet area. Now this toilet I like most. First of all, this toilet bowl is actually very advanced where it actually can be controlled by a control pad or remote control here 
which is detachable. There are a lot of functions here where one can actually try it out one by one. The seat and cover can be lifted by pressing on the button where one no need to worry having their hand touch on the toilet seat. I'm not sure why is it detachable. Are uh, you going to ask your roommate to actually flush the toilet for you? I'm not sure. But to me, it has to be very conscious because once you drop it inside the toilet bowl, you gotta pay for it. At the side of the washroom is the open closet area, which is also located beside at the entrance of the room. The closet has lots of hangers, iron, iron board, luggage rack, umbrellas, and slippers. Meanwhile, inside the drawers, here are the hair dryer and many empty compartments. The curtain at the window can be controlled by a press of a button, like we see here. The room is facing the KLCC park and indeed it is very beautiful looking at the park outside the window. At the side, I can merely see one of the twin buildings. Beside the executive lounge, the hotel has six dining places, but I only able to make my visit to three of them. The lounge bar Trigona is located just beside the reception at level 6B. It's an all-day dining and afternoon tea place where one can enjoy comfortably at all time during their stay. Delicious pastries are available here and there are plenty of seats where one can surely find a good spot to relax here. It has a warm wooden color palette with some pastel green on the furniture which suits the eyes very much. Another dining option in this hotel is the Curate, another all-day dining restaurant where I will be having my breakfast tomorrow. But let me show you how the place looks like before I come for breakfast tomorrow. Located on level 6B2, it's on the other far end of the reception area. It's also serving buffet lunch and dinner as well as catering for guests who have special occasion. Plenty of seats around too. The last dining place I visited during my stay is the pool bar and grill, which is located just beside the swimming pool at level 7A. At the same time, let's move to the facilities level. Coming out from the lift, I will come to a corridor where the spa is. There is an in-house boutique for guests to shop around in front of the spa area. Moving forward, we'll see the gym on the left and in front is the swimming pool. I will take a look at the swimming pool first. The swimming pool area is open from 7 a.m. till 7 p.m. daily. It has a pool bar at the side and this is the pool bar and grill where guests can enjoy small bites of snacks while relax with the city breeze outdoor here. It's open from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. on weekdays and till 10 p.m. on weekend. This is an infinity swimming pool with a length of 25 meters. It's on level 7, so the view is blocked by the commercial building beside the hotel. There are plenty of sun lounges and seats around. 
The swimming pool has some water features where guests can really get the most relaxing resort feeling while resting at the side of the pool. Some sound lounges are placed on the shallow water in the swimming pool where one can really literally feel like sitting on the water itself. If you don't wish to get your feet wet, there are always plenty of sound lounges and seats under the row of cabana at the side of the swimming pool. Staff will hand out a glass of icy water and towel to guests when they rest by the pool. On the far end of this swimming pool is the Vitality Pool where guests can rejuvenate, add the jacuzzi, light seatings and jet stream water to massage their back and neck. For your information, the water is heated up. Beside the cabana is the wading pool for kids to get some splash here. Along this way, there is a shower place for guests to get wet before heading into the swimming pool. Let's take a look at the gym or what they call the fitness center. Located on the same level of the swimming pool, it is open 24 hours for hotel guests. There are towels and water provided for guests to use. The gym is very well equipped and have lots of playable machines where one can really get a good workout session here. However, I found they are placed too near to each other, so it might be a little bit cluttered for me. The fitness attendant will only be around from 6am till 10pm if one needed assistance. After all the workout and splashing time, one may need to shower and freshen up. So let's head to the changing room and check it out. It's located at the far end of the facilities area and what I mean, it's really far end. I'm going to check out the men's changing room this time and only guests with keycard are allowed to enter. And for your information, there will be some intruders trying their luck to follow some guests in as they do not have the keycard to access. So take note if there's anyone sitting outside the changing room pretending to wait for someone here. I encounter one during my visit and I make a report to the staff immediately. The changing room is really big inside and it's like a maze. Let me show you what they have inside. I make my way to the left first where there is a quiet room where guests can rest. LED lights are placed on the roof as though it looks like stars. Behind the resting area is the sauna, steam bath, and shower cubicles. The sauna is clean and functions normally. It has Himalayan salt bricks on the wall. Opposite you see here is the shower area with normal and rain shower with shower amenities provided. The steam room, hmm, it's full of steam. Clean towels are placed on shelves scattered everywhere, so guests can get whenever they need them. As I move towards, this side is the local and powder and changing room. Drinking waters also provided here too. All these lockers are keyless. 
Just light the safe in the room. All you need to do is to find an unused locker. And after placing all your belongings inside, just press your desired four digits to lock. To unlock, just press the four digits you just entered and you can open the locker after that. More towels around here too. At the far end of the changing room are six huge shower cubicles. On the other part here is the basin area with proper toiletries provided and behind is the toilet area. After moving around a few times, I started to find my way out of this changing room. Very interesting. At night, it's very beautiful and this is the view from my room. The room is facing the KLCC park and there is this lake symphony where I can enjoy the view while in the room. And if one feels like a little quiet, guests can easily head to the park as it's just located opposite the road. Here, there's this beautiful KLCC Twin Tower night view with the hotel at the side. I will be making another video of the KLCC Lake Symphony and be sure to subscribe my channel so you won't miss any of my video. On the next morning, I head to the curated restaurant to have my breakfast. Breakfast starts from 6 a.m. till 10.30 a.m. daily serving international buffet style breakfast. The restaurant is huge so there are plenty of seats around and there is no need to worry on queuing for seats most of the time. Food are placed scatterly where guests will not clutter in one place to get food which most hotels doing that. Facing the entrance are pastries columns. They look appetizing and delicious. The next column is the cold meat and cheese, while next to it is the beverages station where juices and coffee machines are. Behind the second columns is the salad bar with lots of dressing choices and behind the first columns are more pastries and local sweeties. Facing the cities is the bread section with lots of jam choices. Now let's move into the main dining area where there are more tables and seatings around here. Here is where hot dishes and cooking stations located. We begin with Asian food from Indian to Chinese cuisine. Noodle station also available at the side here. Talking about Chinese breakfast, not to miss is the Chinese dim sum and they even have young tofu, hakka dish that use tofu and veggie that stuffed with meat and fish paste. Behind there is the cereal section and facing it is the Malay breakfast. Nasi lemak is the national dish that every local loves here. On the far end is the fruit section, which is a must for me to take daily. Beside it is the yoga session. The western side is something not to miss too. Egg station, soup, bacon, sausages, hash brown and beans are some of the basic stuff a 5-star hotel breakfast should have. Breakfast is the main meal to start the day and having a nice environment like this with a variety of choices as you see here, what's more to ask for? 
These four seasons Kuala Lumpur really never disappoint me and I enjoy every single moment here. So let me share with you my review and rating. Hi, um, as you come to this point, uh, I would like to give some of my personal review for this hotel. Now to me, this hotel is a very nice premium hotel in Kuala Lumpur. It makes me remember one of the hotels that I ever stayed. Uh, it's called EQ Hotel. Most of the facilities are very similar, like um, they have the LED lights on the resting area and also um, the salt wall on the sauna area. In terms of the price, here is much more ex uh, expensive because I would say that this is a very international five-star uh, branded hotel. The only thing is uh, it only has 18 floors for guest room to stay here. So, but EQ Hotel, they have a higher floors, it's like 50 world floors there. You can check on the link above if you haven't watched my review on the EQ Hotel. But to me, this is a very nice hotel. So if you want to look at my review, this is the rating of the hotel itself and I really loved it. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you again. And for your information, um, I'm going to give another review on another 5 star house which is nearby. That is Mandarin Oriental. It's just opposite the other side only in the coming days. So please subscribe and so that you will not miss any of my videos. Thank you very much and hope to see you again. Till then, bye.